hello guys welcome back to my channel all things miss tanita in today's video i am going to be behind the scenes actually showing you um a facial treatment that i perform in uh my aesthetic suite house of smiles what i'm showing you right now is just some of the products that i've already prepped to uh plan to use on my client however once my client arrives and we get into the facial these products can change at any given time because i like to customize my facials based on my client's skincare needs their type and um what exactly is going on at the time so if you like this video please make sure you comment like share and subscribe i appreciate your feedback and usually guys i don't record the entire facials i usually just record some parts of the facial if you want to follow me on instagram my business page at house of smiles you'll see exactly what i'm talking about so if my camera or my lighting is a little bit off i apologize in advance for this video but today i just thought that it would be pretty cool to show you um as i perform a complete facial on one of my clients so let's just jump right into the video so this is my client she was gracious enough to allow me to record doing the facial this is her skin before and as you can see she was having a little bit of a breakout prior to coming in and so i went ahead and double cleansed her before i started um getting into the video so you just what you're seeing is that i'm about to apply the lemon zest enzyme mask which is an exfoliating mask that removes dead skin cells. It helps stimulate collagen production and it also gives the skin a nice glow. This particular enzyme is great for all skin types. Um, I usually always apply it under the steam. However, with every client, I'm always checking on them to see if this enzyme is starting to tingle uh, at a number three or higher. At that point, I will turn the steam off. I'm also observing my client's skin and I see that her skin is starting to turn really red. So I am consistently checking on her. And although she's telling me her tingle factor is only a one, I went ahead and opted to turn the steam off because as you can see, her skin looks really, really red. So I'm going to say that her skin is very resilient because she was able to stand it, but I did not want to cause any further harm or irritation to her skin so i opted to turn the steam off what i'm doing now is applying a warm towel which is very soothing and i'm also going to be removing all of the product from my client's skin um, this is also very very soothing and it is a great way to remove um, any product that you may have placed on your client's skin i'm going to follow her up with a cucumber hydration toner just to get her skin back balanced, her pH levels back balanced, and to moisturize her skin. And to also ensure that all of the other product is completely off. And then at this time, I have assessed her skin for extractions. I'm performing some extractions to her nose in which I was able to get quite a bit of whiteheads that were congested in her nose. And then I'm going to be addressing the breakout that she is actively having on the um just on the side of her lower lip uh i was also able to extract um that one successfully and then i went ahead and cleaned it up with some toner and then added a sulfur for just a spot treatment to that area so that we can calm things down now as i said my client booked for a hydrodermabrasion and so right now i am applying the serum the peptide serum and i am speeding up the video because it can get very lengthy with each and every step of this particular facial but you guys get the get the point that um with the hydrodermabrasion what it does is it provides a uh, great exfoliation so it's removing dead skin cells it helps decrease fine lines and wrinkles. It helps with acne scarring as well as hyperpigmentation. Um, following that particular treatment, I like to go ahead and uh, hydrate. I like to make sure that the skin, any inflammation, that we decrease inflammation. 
as well as repair and rehydrate the skin. So I'm applying a nourishing honey mask currently. This particular mask I like to leave on between 10 to 15 minutes um, as my client is relaxed and resting. Uh, for the last five minutes of this mask, I go ahead and I like to perform a neck and shoulder massage, which is extremely relaxing. It is extremely comforting because a lot of times we have lots of tension in our neck and our shoulder area. So this really helps the clients to relax. At this point of time in the facial, I believe my client was fast asleep um, so I know that she is totally relaxed and hopefully I am getting some of the tension from out of her neck and that she will feel a lot more refreshed and rejuvenated when the facial is over. Um, as you see the little area by her mouth, um, the product that you see is the sulfur. Um, I always recommend that whenever a person has a breakout that they should ice and use sulfur for a spot treatment. What I'm doing now is um, applying a hyaluronic acid mask, which is very cool from the refrigerator. So it's very cool. It's um, calming, and it also draws moisture back to the skin. Again, the goal is to exfoliate, and then you want the repairing and hydration and moisture um, process to begin so I am also using the cooling gloves, which is also very calming to the skin. Um, my goal right now, because my client has that breakout area, I am going to focus on that area to decrease inflammation. Also want to cool her skin and get the color tone back to as close to normal as possible by the end of the facial my client is uh, still very, very relaxed and says that she is doing great and that everything feels good to her. Again, guys, if you like this uh, facial video, please give me some feedback so I will continue to do these type of videos if you want to see behind the scenes. As you all know, I have several businesses, so I will be sharing um, different things that I do at each of my businesses uh, I would love for you also to follow my husband and I have a uh, our own channel called The Smith's Hustle. I will put the link in the description in which we discuss our real estate. We are Section 8 landlords and we buy properties, uh, renovate them, and rent them out. What you've just seen me doing in the video is adding a moisturizer along with SPF and now hydrating my client's lips. And here is the finished products product from the facial. She is extremely hydrated, exfoliated, and her skin looks amazing. She is glowing. Please let me know what you guys think about this facial and how you think um, my client's facial went and how the results turned out. And last but not least, I want to share with you her junk jar jar which is what I call it whenever I do a hydrodermabrasion, which you will see the dead skin cells and particles at the bottom of the jar. Again, if you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe, like, share, and comment. And I hope to see you on the next video. Take care.